Hi, I'm Amy Wolf with ViewCast. How can sticky mittens help kids with autism? New research from the Vanderbilt Kennedy Center and the Kennedy Krieger Institute finds early motor development expands a baby's interest in social development. Babies who may have autism show much less interest in social interactions. Researchers say exercises with these sticky mittens could help them gain control of moving objects. This raises their interest in social engagement in general. In the study, three-month-old babies who wore Velcro mittens were able to easily grab Velcro toys. Researchers say this success seemed to lead them to focus more on the faces of people playing with them. There's much more on this study on Vanderbilt.edu. Search Sticky Mittens. So give the blood, blood, gallons of the stuff. Give them Even with a catchy song, it's no secret kids and some adults are not keen about having blood taken. But for a child with autism, certain procedures can be near impossible. That's why the Vanderbilt Kennedy Center joined up with Autism Speaks to offer a toolkit with evidence-based strategies to help all kids, especially those with autism, prepare for a doctor's visit. You can download your own toolkit on vanderbilt.edu, search autism and toolkit. Many of us rely on a little bit of the force to get through the day, but as ViewCast Carol Bartu shows us, for future doctors in the Vanderbilt School of Medicine, the power of Yoda is near them all the time. I'm looking for a Jedi Master. <sighs> Jedi Master? Yoda? You seek Yoda! Yoda is, uh, you know, a very wise man, and he's, he's not that unlike a lot of the other people hanging on these walls in that way. He transcends generations and cultures. Um, I think that's why he's there. Do or do not. There is no try. He's, uh, he's, I think he's taught us a lot. I think he's always watching over us and, and uh, is inspiring us to, to find our inner medical force. So I think it was, it was very appropriate, I think, for the medical school lecture hall. It was perfect. <laughs> And you think for three and a half feet, how does someone carry so much presence? Much to learn, you still have. Even short statured uh, people can do great things. Size matters not. Dr. Miller is uh, one of the best surgeons that we've seen, and she now has a huge position here at Vanderbilt, and, and she's kind of our Yoda, I think, in a lot of ways. Dean Balzer, um, you know, you don't really know how old Dean Balzer is. Same with Yoda. Um, dean Balzer looks like he's been 30 for his entire life, but he's the dean, so you don't really know. And with Yoda, he could be 30, he could be 200. When 900 years old, you reach, look as good you are not. Hmm? <laughs>The two students who first placed the Yoda picture a decade ago say they're thrilled Yoda is still a part of the school. You can read the full legend of the medical school Yoda in Vanderbilt Medicine Magazine or on vanderbilt.edu, type in Yoda. I'm going to go stare at my Han Solo poster now. For ViewCast, I'm Amy Wolf.